Am I worthy of being your attendant, my lord? With all the work, fighting, and daily affairs I assist with. No. I'm not there yet. I must strive to be better. Hello friends, Khalil here, and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we are jumping in and checking out Memento Mori AFK RPG here in 2024. Now I know what you're probably thinking, what the heck Coolio? it has been a really, really long time since we've actually seen a video from you. I, I know, I took a break from making family. YouTube videos just to kind of focus on my family, focus on my career, things like that, but I'm back in 2024 to cover mainly the cover games I've never covered before here on the channel. There's been a lot of games that have released since the last time I posted videos, and one of those games is Memento Mori AFK RPG, an incredibly beautiful idol RPG that it, it stands out in many ways compared to those other idol RPG games, specifically popular ones like AFK Arena, Omni Heroes, a lot of those really big kind of idol RPG titles that you see a lot of clones come out, a lot of very, very similar games. And so what I want to do is I'm going to jump in, I'm going to talk about this game, talk about the reason why this game's actually doing really, really good, despite the fact that it's like social media presence isn't really there or matching a lot of these other games. You'll see a bunch of other games with these huge, massive updates and posts and social media presences and YouTube videos and all this stuff to promote their games. But this game doesn't necessarily do that. It does release videos every once in a while for like new heroes, specifically about like the songs that come out with these new heroes because the music soundtrack in this game is absolutely incredible. It is top notch along with the, the art style. Now there are some aspects of this game, uh, of this type of game that a lot of people don't like, but I'm gonna kind of cover that a little bit later in this video. So if you guys enjoy this video content, if you guys want me to cover games I've never covered here on the channel, or maybe go and take a look at games that have come out in the past that I've missed, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. So, Memento Mori AFK RPG, like I said, it's an idle RPG that takes the whole idle RPG aspect in a different direction. Because when it comes to these AFK arena type games, there's really only one aspect in which you can kind of diversify yourself. When you go ahead and take a look at a lot of these idle RPG games, you basically get the exact same gameplay across the board. You've got a team of five heroes that will automatically attack the enemy. You're wanting to build your team to synergize with their abilities. As you're not playing the game, as you're away from the game, they will automatically fight like you see here on the screen. You'll get these uh, special claim rewards that you can come back into. You may hit certain thresholds in the overall campaign where you can't actually progress until you've basically stopped playing the game and then you can kind of come back and upgrade your characters. A lot of these games have basically the exact same style of gameplay. You've got the main storyline like that. Even these trials that you have in this game are here, the Fountain of Prayers, the Tower of Infinity, Temple of Illusions, Cave of Space Time. You will see this type of gameplay in almost every other idle RPG, like the Tower of Infinity. You're gonna see a lot of this in other games too, where you basically just go down a huge tower or dungeon or whatever it is. Again, same thing you see in a lot of other games. You've got the whole kind of like, um, like the grid system type thing where you're going through and you have to pick your specific path. And there's like healing and there's like buffs, there's items that you can use to increase the overall power of your team. This is a, a, a very, very similar style of gameplay that you see in a lot of other idle RPGs. You got the PvP system in the game where you have a certain amount of times that you can go in and attack. I, I have zero left today because I've been playing the game. I've been really enjoying the game so far. But yeah, again, PvP, very similar to other games. When it comes to like the overall gameplay that uh, Memento Mori has to offer, it's very, very similar to any other idle RPG. So why are people playing this game? Because there are people playing this game, despite the lack of like social media presence and like the advertisements behind the game. There are advertisements, I see them on YouTube, but I'm talking about like massive social media posts, big updates, new heroes, giant banners and stuff like that. They do post them, they are there. Like if you go and take a look, you can see there's a, uh, I know they just came out with Rishes. She returns a character that they brought back. And then they have a brand new character too that I think this was released more like two weeks ago. Um, the Prayer of Fleeting for Iris. I actually already have her, so I'm really excited. I have her. She's the newest hero in the game. But it's interesting because I was kind of expecting their social media presence to basically be all over the place. But it's not. It's not there. They just maybe do a small post about like the music behind the characters and the character designs and stuff like that. But it's kind of interesting that this game doesn't necessarily have like huge events and huge storylines and stuff like that. Like the story is there. They just 
they're just not as massive on their social media presence as I've seen a lot of other games. But that doesn't mean that this game's not doing good because this game is raking in the money. This game is doing very, very well for itself. And the reason why it is, well, that's got to be the overall theme and design of this game. Because when you're making an idle RPG game, there's really only like two aspects of the game that you can control. The overall theme and the overall aesthetics of the game. So what's this theme? Well, it's like this watercolor paint waifu collector. Waifu Collector, you've seen that. There's a lot of games that have really, really good waifus and art designs and stuff like that. But the one thing that I think really makes this game stand out out of every other AFK RPG type game out there is the sound design. The music in this game is incredible. And that's what they really push on their social media presence and stuff like that is just the overall like, oh man, the music in this game is amazing. I So I've been playing this game on my phone. Now I've been playing it, you know, on my computer and stuff. And when I came in and I jumped in on my computer to get ready for this overall setup, oh my gosh, I had to just take a second and just listen to the soundtrack because it is so, so good. Now, I know one of the biggest complaints that people have with this game is the overall gameplay isn't that exciting. You don't really see your characters. They've got this beautiful kind of water aesthetic, water or paint water aesthetic in the background. It looks pretty good. And like the character designs look amazing. When you have it on times one speed, like you actually get to see your characters they don't really have like cinematic attacks for like their ultimates and stuff like that. But, you know, again, this is an idle RPG. That's not really the point. The point is to have a casual game to play on the side, a game that you can kind of jump into every once in a while, see what kind of new heroes are coming out, drop a couple of dollars to some of those new heroes and add them onto your team. Just like I added Iris onto my team. I think she looks incredible. And you'll also notice, too, when it comes to the combat, they're not really worried about the combat in this game. You can basically skip so many stages. It's not about the combat. It really isn't. I mean, once you get into the later stages, once you get into PvP, it's going to be about the team synergies. It's got the same type of soul bonus thing that you see in a lot of other games where you have like similar factions added. You get bonuses. If you have the same, you know, same characters from the same factions and stuff like that. Again, you see that in so many other idol RPGs. But that's not the point that this game is trying to make. The, the, the point that this game is trying to make is it is a beautiful absolutely gorgeous in terms of like art style and the music of this game just a nice casual hero collector that you can jump into every day level up make you know make progress and stuff like that it's not trying to be your main game it's not trying to capture your attention all day trust me you're gonna get into stages where you're gonna hit a wall and you can't progress and you're just gonna you know you can just come back later and keep playing it and that's the reason why i think this game is definitely worth playing in 2024 Probably not as a full, you know, like as your main game, but definitely as a side game. And it is doing very, very well for itself. So before we end this video, we got to do the, you know, the traditional thing that basically every other YouTuber does. Got to end these first impressions videos with the summons. And I did. I saved up summons completely for free. I'm a, I'm a completely free to play player on this. I've sunk in a decent amount of time. I'm ranked 43. That's not like crazy high. I've seen people that are like 200, 250, 300, like they're way up there. All right, so I'm definitely not like super far in the game. I've only been playing it for like about a week or so. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's jump in. We're going to invoke some characters. Let's just do one on the Prayer of Fleeting. The Prayer of Fleeting is the current banner that they've got going on right now of Iris, which is the newest hero to the game. And then Rashes, who is a returning character. And then the basic summons is the Prayer of the Curse. So we'll go ahead and we're going to do this one. Yep. You guys can see what the summoning animations are. They're not crazy. They really aren't. There's, it's basically just this. But if you get like one of the, the more rare characters, you'll see it kind of do like a, a slightly cool animation. It's nothing crazy. It really isn't. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's do the Prayer of the Curse. I've got almost 40 summons to do it. I wish I had 40, but I don't. So here we go. And there we go. We got, um, I don't know what the rarities are in this game. But we got ourselves a brand new character. I don't have this one. Don't blink or you'll miss it. The art style, like 2D animation, it's just so good. So SR, that's the highest rank that you can get. I, I mean, once you get duplicates, you can level them up. I think LR is the highest uh, that you can eventually upgrade a character to. I think it's like SR, SSR, LR, something like that. I think UR is there as well. So we go, we got Hathor. Yes, it is fun. I'm not gonna take your server right now because I'm busy. Go ahead and invoke 10 more times. We got another SR character. And this is a game too that they're going to be showering you uh, with a lot of free stuff because you're going to want as many duplicates as you possibly can to upgrade your characters. 
So Ivy, again, another new character. I haven't seen her before. And I do love kind of going through and seeing like what the different abilities are of each of the characters because the abilities are pretty unique. And we didn't get anything there. And that's about it. Now I do have nine. I'm not gonna I'm gonna save up and get a little bit more, but there we go. Memento Mori AFK RPG. Is this game worth playing in 2024? I mean, just take a look at Diane. Tell me this game is not worth playing. It definitely is. I summoned her actually, I think, earlier today, and I was pretty pumped. I think she looks incredible. Voice act voice acting, everything, the music. Absolutely incredible for a game uh, for an idle RPG game. So guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, leave a like, subscribe if you loved it. And my name's Coolio, and I'll see you next time.